Dock workers back to work after a tentative deal. I'm Chase Wilsey with Wilsey Asset Management. And good news for those that were concerned about the International Longshoremen's Association's strike, also known as the ILA, as the Union and the United States Maritime Alliance reached a tentative agreement on wages and agreed to extend the master contract until January 15, 2025. Wages will increase 61.5% over six years under the tentative deal, but the major point of conflict that still needs to be negotiated is port automation. With the increase in wages, it will be interesting to see how much the Maritime Alliance is willing to budge on automation as they will likely need to look for ways to improve efficiency to offset the higher wages. Efficiency is already a concern for US ports as a study from just a couple of years ago rank the LA and Long Beach ports as the least efficient trade hubs for handling containers in the world. Other US ports, including Savannah, Georgia, New York, and New Jersey, well, they also ranked in the bottom half of the list. Of the 370 member container port performance index, we did not have a single port in the top 10. While this resolution is positive overall, the problems could be delayed until early next year if the two sides still cannot come to an agreement.